Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're doing decks on my desk for the month of August. So you are welcome to join us here at Tarot Nap Plans here on TarotTube, Instagram, and TikTok mostly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, so we're going to do something a little different. Normally, I don't really recap how my last month went since this, we're only a few months into this series. But I thought we would do that today. So, I want to recap July. As I'm filming, we are July 29th, I believe. Yeah. So, we're on the last sprint of July going into August. So, I just want to talk quickly about what worked and what didn't. What decks I ended up using. Which decks I didn't. Because I think that's part of what I brought up in one of my recent... My Timu haul video was like deck overwhelm and and how I was going to try to refocus. So one of the things I did do, which I did pretty good on, was using my Pacific Northwest Tarot and my Songs of the Grandmother. Now, on July 8th, I started doing daily pulls. I pulled one from each. And I was pretty successful with that. So, I'm definitely glad that I pulled um, this Pacific Northwest Tarot out of my Purgatory box because I almost sold it. And I'm really glad that I didn't. I didn't always read the card descriptions every time the way I had planned to, but I did pull from it almost every day. So, that was, I guess, half successful. Um, but I definitely liked pulling one card at a time so I could think about it. Instead of having it in a full spread. That definitely worked better for me. Like maybe in the future I could go up to two cards. But I definitely. The ones that I read. Like I remember reading about the moon card. Um, so that definitely worked for me. I actually have my two cards up right now. Which is the six of swords. And grandmother butterfly. For today. Which is right behind my filming set here. And then we have our Songs of the Grandmother, which I edged in this beautiful, beautiful pink. And I really liked it. Like, the same with Pacific Northwest. Um, I didn't always have time to read what was in the book. But I did really appreciate how we don't just have, like, the animal. We have a keyword. We have a little haiku. So it made it a lot more usable. And for some reason, I had this put away. Like, it wasn't in Purgatory or anything. But I had to put away because, like, initially I was just going to use it with my Gentle Tarot. So I'm so glad that um, I seen it on whose channel was it now. I'm going to say their name wrong. And I know that. So I'm not even going to say their name. But I did see her use it on their channel. And it was a great inspiration for me. So this was pretty successful. So I'm pretty happy on how that went out. Um, this was one that I pulled out. And I think I only pulled once or twice. I love this deck. And I do keep it. And I plan to use it again in the future. I just don't always think to pull from it. Which I thought by having it on my desk... I would, but I didn't in the end. So, yeah. Not really. So, it will go back in its bag for a future month. But I'm glad I had it out in case I wanted it. Um, One deck I didn't really use, I think I only pulled from once, was my Inner Star Oracle. But don't fret. I'm keeping it out for August. So, when we talk about August decks, I will probably go over it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I didn't really pull from it because the deck that I planned to use it with, I didn't, I only pulled from like twice. So I didn't really pull from that that much. Um, here's another one I didn't pull from as much as I had planned is my Threads of Fate, um, Rose Gold, um, Oracle. I didn't really pull from it because, again, I didn't really use the deck that I wanted to use with it that much. So, therefore, it didn't get much use. It did get a little bit of use. A little bit more than the Inner Star Oracle. Um, which I had planned to use that Threads of Fate along with my Bad Bitches. 
which the first week and a half to two weeks, I did use it a quite a bit. Um, but then I had ordered um, notebook therapy notebooks. Um, so I could do a deck study of this, but they have taken much longer than I thought to come in, like way longer. I'm expecting them this coming week, so the first week of August. I'm hoping they've came, made it to Canada at least, but their shipping them out took forever. So I want to use one of those for like a deep deck study on this. So I didn't even, so I didn't, I kind of stopped using it because I was waiting to get that in so that I could make lots of notes. And then another deck I had planned to use was it what this Personal Power Oracle deck by Deja Druid. Um, so again, I only pulled like once or twice out of this because I was waiting for those journals to come in. Oh, and so it was my Bad Bitches Tarot is what I showed you guys before. And this is her new one that she's almost out. I just saw she put up a reel at the time I'm filming this that she had like less than 20 decks left. And this is the new one with the bigger guidebook with full color pages. But I do have her other edition too. Um, so Innistar Oracle I had out to actually work with this deck. My Light Sears. Um, which I really only use for my new moon and full moon readings in July. Uh, that was about it, actually. I think I may have did one or two other readings. I may have done four readings with it. So not as much as I had planned. But like I said, um, I don't know if I did say that. I didn't do that many bigger spreads in the month of July, actually. I did a lot of the daily pulls. I did, was pretty good with that, but I didn't do a ton of spreads. So I did do my new moon and full moon with this, but I didn't do a lot of other spreads. So therefore, it didn't get as much use as planned. Um, I was planning on using Krista's deck initially because I was planning on using um, a deck that I got in the mail which was the Witch's Garden Tarot. And then I decided I wanted to leave my Witch's Garden Tarot for September, possibly for a deck study. So I didn't use it, so therefore I didn't use this. Even though I love it, and I missed her pre-order for her new expansion, and I don't know how. So hopefully when that comes in, she'll have some extra copies and I can get it, hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Um, so I also had out my Jamie Sawyer Redux edition, which I didn't use that much. Um, I did use a little bit in my Tarot for Yourself book, which I'm very, very slowly working through. I was doing some stuff and then I didn't have all my notes that I needed with me when I was out working on it. Um, so I will be continuing to use this. So I'll probably put that in the second part of the video with decks on my desk. So a little bit might be actually repetitive for August. Not all of it because some decks I'm definitely putting away. But some decks might actually be repetitive. So I had out my Elemental Tarot. Which actually the few other spreads that I did do, I did use this. And I went to... Um, I did some readings for some friends and I actually used this along with my Bad Bitches Tarot. So I actually did use this three or four times throughout the month. So, and that was fun. This is something that like I really want to use more of and I kind of want it to be not my RWS replacement, replacement because I have my Redux by Jamie Sawyer. That's kind of what I feel like my RWS deck is. Um, but I do love this and I want this to kind of be the next one, you know, that I pull for that has like really clear elemental differences in each of the minor suits. And I feel like this is really strong in that area. Um, but I didn't use it as much as I planned to, but I did actually use it more than some of the other decks. Okay, so that is all the decks that I used in the month of July, whether or not I used them all. Um, and I'll be back in one quick second and we will get to the decks that I plan to use in August, hopefully. All right, guys. So I have taken a moment and went through what decks I think I'm going to use for August. And let's take a looky see. So let's start off with, um, 
Let's start off with a f the new ones. Yeah, let's do that. So one of the new decks that I want to use is one I just recently got in. It's the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, Deluxe Edition. So it's 149 or 100, yeah, 149 cards, 71 Oracle and 78 Tarot, obviously, with this big chonker of a guidebook. Um... This is a really interesting set by Bernadette King. I believe she's also on YouTube. And she has this big, giant encyclopedia book that I also got because at the time of filming this, um, again, July 29th, um, there was still major sale on this deck and the big, extra, giant book, um, which I, I did film an unboxing of, which is also coming out in the month of August. So that's fun. Um, so, anyways, here's the tarot cards. So, they're still in order because I haven't done anything with it yet. But, um, because I worked with the Pacific Northwest Tarot last month, I want to still have an animal deck out. I think maybe that's something I want to do, at least for the next couple of months, is have some sort of animal deck out and work with animal energy. So, this is a really cool one. I really do like the photograph, the realist reality look of the animals they're real photographs of real animals and then they just put like digital art background on them except for there's like a few cards in the oracle that are like um fantasy things and there's some dinosaurs but other than that it's all real photographed animals and what's cool about this is even the tarot deck could be used as an oracle deck because of the keywords on here. And this is totally a deep dive deck. There is sigil symbols down below as ones on the top, which mean different things. It's all explained in the guidebook. Um, I like that there's keywords on the oracle and the tarot. So it helps you like figure out how these animals relate to that tarot card, as well as if you wanna just use it as an oracle. So I'm really excited to get into this. Like I said, I did a full unboxing and flip through. Um, and I'm super excited to use this. I'm already planning to do a divination exploration video with this deck for August near the beginning. I'm not going to give you the details. You'll have to watch and find out. And like... Not exactly serious, my gecko, but very close. Sirius has a few more black spots and is a little bit more yellow than orange. But very similar with the banding and a little bit of orange in her, in her tail. So that was kind of like what totally sold me on this deck was like, it looks very much like Sirius. And it's a gecko in a deck. And it's not the only gecko in the deck. Or lizard, I guess, in the deck. So, and then there's, like, an oracle card that's a bear. It's it's just so good. Or, no, the bear cup is the pe in pentacles. I think she's, like, the queen of pentacles or something. I can't remember off the top of my head. But there's so many animals from all over the world, from insects to, like, something different like this. Um, yeah, like, here's the fantasy cards. But yeah, it's like animals from all over the world. There's insect, birds, fish, lizards, all different stuff. So it's really cool. So, and the guidebook itself is going to be really good to help me decipher stuff. Because there's a ton of information. Like, that's the tarot cards. And these are the oracle cards. And, like, I got the deluxe edition, which has all the or extra oracle cards in the book. And I believe if you buy just the regular edition, it still has the book this big so that you could always buy the extra oracle cards later, I believe. I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. And then I have the big, massive extra book that has 300 animals in it, which has all these animals in it, plus another 151 other animals. And has more in-depth information. So that's super cool. So that's something I'm very much looking forward to using. I know that was a lot on one deck. Like, I guess I better speed this whole thing up. Five minutes on one deck. It's not like we're using one deck the whole month, guys. 
put that inside out, but it's okay. I just want to know which side's Tarot and which side's Oracle. And I do not have a bag big enough for all these cards. So for at least for now, it's staying in this giant box. So the next thing, I literally just got this. So this is one of my earlier bags that I made. And clearly, I put a deck in it that was too big. So I do need to go back and re-sew this. And make it work for this deck. I just got this deck from my dear friend Lillian. You are amazing. You've gifted me like three or four decks now. And I love it. This is a deck that I've wanted for quite some time. But wasn't quite sure if it was going to work for me. And so now that I have it in hand. I'm super excited to work with it. Um, she was saying that she thought it was kind of Celtic based a little bit. I've also heard that it's fey based so I love the energy of both mixing together. Of course, I love all the purples and pinks and blues and greens. And I just love the artwork. I'm not, you know, this very glossy, whatever that cardstock is, is interesting. Um, but I definitely love the artwork on this. It's super pretty. So this is a deck I actually wanted for quite some time, but just wasn't sure if it was actually going to work for me. So I didn't want to spend the whatever 40, 50 bucks on it because it is U.S. game. So hard to get in Canada. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to use this. So my plan with this is I actually found another deck, another Oracle match. But one of my main reasons for wanting this deck, give me one quick second. was this oracle deck which i haven't been able to find a pairing for is my earthly souls and spirits but what i'm realizing in this pile we might need to do a deck duet and not give away all my secrets but this is kind of what i was envisioning it going with because i need something to go with this now, I know this is witchy, but there is some, like, fey energy in here, and it's very, like, I don't know. I like the coloration. I feel like it's a decent match. So, yeah, maybe we're going to do a deck duets with uh, this Crystal Visions. I feel it coming, guys. What do you think down below? Let me know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So yeah, I definitely will be using this in August. I'm super stoked to get to know this deck. And my janky bag that I need to fix. But I think it's a pretty good bag match. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. So another deck that I was thinking of pulling out. Um, was this. Fey deck. It is the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. I don't just, excuse me, I'm feeling this deck lately. And I've been wanting to pull it out. And I have been all summer. And before summer's over, I really want to pull out this deck. So I feel like it's time. It's time. So yeah, so that's my Fairy Wisdom Oracle. It's beautiful, and it's got, like, a ton of cards, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I want to say, like, 60 cards or something. I wonder if it says in here. Oh, well, it numbers the pages, so I guess if we go to the very back of the book, it'll tell us, won't it? 64 cards. And, like, look at that write-up for each card. Isn't that amazing? And the big, beautiful image. Like, I don't even mind that it's in black, white. And it's a hardcover book. So, gotta love that. So, that's one I'm thinking of using. Now, my plan was to keep out my inner star oracle. Because, one... I think it goes really well, whoa, sorry guys, really well with my Unfolding Path Tarot. What do you guys think? 
I was planning on using these guys together. I think that could be really good. Right? I think with the white outlining and then the sigils and the writing in white and then this being colorful and these cards being so colorful, I think this really works together. So that was kind of my plan with that was to put those together. As well as, I do have one other Oracle deck that of course we were also keeping out. Let's give a little mixture here so we don't have all of the same cards. Now there is the mass market version of this coming out. Let me know what you guys think. I have a very silly idea. When Hay House does, because I believe it's Hay House that's coming out with it. When Hay House does their sales and it's like, whatever, 30, 40% off. I think I might order it. And not because I don't love my indie version, because I really do. Um, I would like the guidebook. Because this deck only came with a fold-out paper. And I'm really interested about the guidebook. But I might wait and see other people's walkthroughs and see if it's worth it. It because I know it is very like RWS based and supposed to be easy to read, but I'm still figuring things out. So I kind of want the new guidebook. So I don't know, man. All right. Hopefully, we don't get any repeating cards here. So I was thinking maybe these might go together pretty cool. Is our personal power oracle deck. So I was kind of keeping these two out because I feel like I need an empowering deck, but I need something modern, and this is kind of it. Like, something with more full scenes, because you'll see the next deck I'm still keeping out. But I thought that this was definitely a really cool art match, and I think I need... I really want to keep this personal power oracle out. I think I need... I'm really thinking... Okay, don't get me wrong here. I am thinking that this is going to be my card a day pull. Yeah. I'm thinking this setup is going to be my card a day pull. So I can get to know this tarot deck better. And get to know this oracle card better. And I think this energy is really good. And I think the colors... For August are really good. So I definitely... I think this is going to be... Instead of me pulling it from the animal card... For the month... I'm going to do this. So yeah. So that's my plan with that. For the most part I think. Yeah. I think that's kind of the plan with that. Do do do. What am I doing? So there's that, but then also I'm keeping on my bad bitches because I'm hoping that my notebook therapy order is going to be coming in and then I can start my deep dive with um, my bad bitches tarot. When I say deep dive, I know maybe this is not the most, um, there's not a lot on the card for it to be a deep dive, but I feel like for me... Looking at the images and just learning how to deep dive. And also, this deck is so empowering and so amazing that, like, I want to spend some dedicated time with it. And with the big guidebook and with it having, like, answers to so many categories. Like, I think it's, like, four or five categories. I think it's really good. So, I do want to spend some dedicated time with this deck. I was just waiting for those notebooks to come in so I can have a fresh, clean, beautiful, docker night notebook to try out a new practice so i'm waiting for that but yeah so i think that i'm going to be using this deck a lot in august as like a deck study or deep study for myself and then lastly but definitely not least 
is um again i'm keeping this one out is my threads of fate oh and here's the big guidebook for the bad bitches in case you guys were wondering in case you missed it on my unboxing of this deck you have all these categories you have your bare meaning boudoir business bank and block for each card majors and minors so I definitely want to um, use this as like a deep dive. And I have two copies. Like I have an older copy and this newer one. So my older copy I can keep in my bag for whenever I'm going out in case my friends want a reading or I want to practice somewhere. And then I can keep the bigger book because my other copy is a smaller book. So it fits in my Moonlit Fay Pack um, bag. Or this one I'm just keeping on my desk. For the time being until I figure out the bag situation. Um, but yeah. And I think this will go good with my personal power. As like an affirmation if I want it. But then this might be good also for like study purposes. On how to interpret um, a spread more if that makes sense. But yeah, I definitely love the black with a lot of the black lines on the deck with the blackness of the oracle. And then there's also like the gold in both. So for me, these are a really good match. And like I said, I think Anthony was mentioning on, I don't know if it was Instagram. I feel like it was Instagram, which is like less than 20 decks left of the bad bitches. And she said she's not printing anymore. So, go get you some bad bitches tarot. Plus, it comes with, like, a course. So, I also, once I get my notebook, I'm going to do the bad bitches tarot course. But I'm waiting for that notebook for me to do all the work in it and all the spreads and whatever. So, I'm really just being held up by that freaking notebook therapy order. It's taking forever. Um, but then, I'll be able to start the deep dive on this. I did order two notebooks. And I was thinking of doing this in the Witch's um, Garden, is that what it's called? The new one that came out in that notebook, but we'll see. I'm probably just going to start with this one first, and then when I'm ready to study the other one, use it. So that's it, guys. That's what I'm planning to use on my desk for August, I think. So that's Dex on my desk. And until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you here on TarotTube, Instagram, and TikTok at Tarot Nap Plans. Until next time, bye guys.